The City of Saskatoon's Bridging to Tomorrow project represents one of the largest infrastructure projects in Saskatoon's history and is funded through a partnership between the City of Saskatoon, the federal and provincial governments. Bridging to Tomorrow includes two major projects, the North Commuter Parkway and the new traffic bridge. Both of these projects will significantly impact the way traffic moves as Saskatoon continues to grow. Graham Commuter Partners, a consortium of engineering, construction and maintenance firms, was selected by the City in September of 2015 to design, build, finance, operate and maintain the projects for a period of 30 years. Construction began in December 2015 and both projects will be completed in October of 2018. The project partners celebrated the official launch of the project on February 11, 2016 with a sod turning ceremony at the site of the North Commuter Parkway Bridge. The event served to build excitement for the project as dignitaries spoke of the benefits of bridging to tomorrow. Not only will the projects provide new commuting options for residents, but the local economy will benefit from the creation of approximately 600 year-long jobs throughout the duration of the project. About 175 people, mainly local residents, will be working at the peak of construction. Work to take down sections of the old traffic bridge began in December of 2015. Over a two-week period, GCP brought in about 20,000 cubic meters of stone and clay till to construct a berm into the South Saskatchewan River to create a work platform. As the berm was being constructed, various city departments and private contractors worked diligently to complete plans for a safe demolition. On January 10, 2016, thousands of Saskatonians gathered on the Broadway and Sid Buckwald bridges to watch the two southern spans of the bridge drop onto the berm. Hundreds more attended the second phase of demolition, the far north span of the bridge, on February 7th. Residents also watched the demolitions live via a webcam in place at the construction site. Following both demolitions, heavy equipment and a lot of manpower was used to dismantle the bridge sections and remove the material from the bridge. As of the end of March, work was well underway to remediate Pier 3, the southernmost in-river concrete pier for the new bridge. Over the next few months, the process of procuring the necessary structural steel and bearings will begin and construction of the south abutment will start. This includes excavation, piling, footings and wall construction. In May, the same process will be followed for construction of the north abutment, as well as the completion of Pier 3. Work on the new North Commuter Parkway began in early January, following remediation of land near the bridge construction site and the clearing of land on the east and west banks of the river. An access road leading to the west bank of the river was constructed and the stockpiling of material to construct the in-river berm began. In the coming months, the process of procuring the necessary structural steel and bearings required will begin and construction of the east and west abutments will commence. Crews will also begin excavation, piling and pier construction, a process that will continue into the spring and summer months. As this work is taking place, crews will also continue to build up the West River Bank to make way for the bridge and road construction. The North Commuter Parkway consists of numerous new and expanded roadways. To date, almost all clearing and over 65% of topsoil stripping has been completed. Work has also begun in the Northeast Swale and the Small Swale. To ensure the protection of local wildlife, as well as native foliage in these highly sensitive areas, multiple environmental monitors are on site each week to ensure adherence to various permits and the execution plan. SAS Power, SAS Tel, SASC Energy, Saskatoon Light and Power have all been preparing to relocate and install new utility lines throughout the parkway area to accommodate the new roads. Over the coming months, crews will continue to install new utility lines in various areas of the roadway, particularly along Central Ave and the Wanaskewan Road and Marquis Drive intersection. Rough grading for new roads will continue and construction of the new Attridge Drive and Central Ave intersection will begin.